Looks like the house is gone. I think if I ask nicely, he'll let me do it. You know how like some houses have that old stink, like old smell, that like, because they're like old houses. It's so funny because like I guess because they destroyed the house, like that smell is just wafting in the air right now. It smells like old house. You think they'll let me do it if I ask them nicely? No. You don't think so? No, I, I take that back. Maybe if you ask very, very. Very. Okay, can I do that really, really quick? Oh my, that'd be so fun. Good jump, Zoe. Try not to do what I did yesterday. I actually ate before taking my medication. If you guys didn't know, this is actually the stuff I have to take pretty much twice a day. So this is Dilantin. This is uh, Ativan. This is called Vimpat. And it's basically anti-seizure stuff. And uh, yeah, that's basically my breakfast. Or dinner, whatever you want to call it. Or lunch. What does this call it lunch? This is actually kind of a trick. Not really a trick, it's just something I can do now because I've been doing it so long. You know, like some people, I used to have such a problem taking just one pill. Now I can take, how many is that? Three, four, five, six, seven pills. Not even a problem anymore. That's probably a lame thing. I wish there was like some miracle cure. Oh, by the way, look at this too. Guess who has gotten into the candy? And that person's not here right now to admit it. Oh, squirrel friend. Squirrel friend! Yep. Say hi. Did he move with us? I guess he moved. So do you remember Squirrel Friend? Do you remember him from the other house? Anyway, that squirrel every day would come out and just torment Zoe and Marley above the pool. <laughs> Are you just playing with him, dude? Going back and forth. Mr. Squirrel Friend. <laughs> I don't even think you're barking. What are you doing? Oh no, he's gonna leave. Yep, he's gone. <laughs> Every single day he comes by, runs back and forth, and just torments my dogs. Uh, we call him Squirrel Friend. Okay. He's gone for today. He'll be back tomorrow. It's, this one's coming out now. I guess this is going to be the new squirrel friend. It sucks that we don't have the pool cage because that way they can just get tormented over and over again. So Allie's older sister was in town today and they went to go have a little sister date. They're coming back right now and then we're going to go ring shopping because we keep forgetting to do that and we know we have to get it done because it takes so long. And I'm being me and I thought it would be really funny to just kind of move some things. I'm gonna move this, and I have the GoPro going. You can't even see it, this is perfect. You can't even see the new GoPro. Now let's try to scare the crap out of him. See, I'm allowed to do this because when the camera's not rolling, Allie scares me all the time. And she does that to me all the time, but she's just never on the camera. So this is gonna make me look like a jerk, but, but I promise she's a big jerk too. All right, I love you. All right, I love you too. Bye. She's grabbing coffee. Of course. So I found this latex mask. It's not really a mask, it's just the latex that you're supposed to paint on. I can't find any other masks, so I feel like this might be like something I could use. I couldn't find any tape or glue, so I just used rubber bands. <laughs> oh, that's her. I didn't get coffee because I waited for you. <laughs> Actually, very creepy on you. Hello, my pretty. You're terrifying. You know what you look like? What's that? Uh, what's that movie? Um, Beauty and the Beast type of thing. But it's not Beauty and the Beast. Share. No, 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 no. This is like a movie. It's driving me crazy. It's um. Internet, help me out. 
it's not, I'm thinking like Beauty and the Beast, but he's not Beauty and the Beast. He's like, and it's not that I'm one movie. Of Meatloaf, I would do anything for it love. It kind of looks like Meatloaf. But I won't do that. Kind of does. I would do anything for love. But I won't do that. That <laughs> I don't think I want like a band that has diamonds as thick as this band because I think it's just too much for me. I think the dainty one. Yeah. Like, where are you going with the dainty, that curve one? I think mm -hmm. that dainty curve one, what was on my face? You just have a hair. I have lots of hairs. It's Bald called a beard. Right now, it's called yeah. a manly beard. This is what I'm talking about. See, the setting of the diamond is a little bit higher. So when you get the engagement ring, it kind of just blasts on the uh, the saddle and it doesn't really line up. So that's kind of like where we're coming into a situation where it's becoming an issue. Allie came up with this, or thought of this idea, and that's what she found. And it makes it look a little bit less big and crazy because Allie's got tiny fingers. Ring by itself is a lot of ring. It's it's a lot of ring. And I love it, it's beautiful. So I, I kind of don't want to take away from that and I, and I like the idea of it just being really simple and dainty. Mine is a very simple, it's platinum, right? It's very simple platinum. You made plat sure of that. I made sure to get the high end. They're like white gold, gold, platinum. I want platinum please, platinum. Cause I just I'm and I so rough on things, cameras. I was like, Can I do payments of my soul? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. The thing is, like I'm so rough on things, my hands, you know, playing music, and like look at the cameras, how rough I'm on the cameras. With my hands bashing into things, I would ruin a ring so easily. A little baby Marley. Look at baby Marley. We got one more place, and then I think I'm gonna go with Callie and go see Sophie. The Somerset are playing. What's it called? The Orpheum and Yeber. 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 I wanted to go Yeber. I wanted to not stop what I was saying, just go Yeber. It'll be fun for you. I think it'll be kind of nice to see the guys. I'm with my sister. Yeah, so it's going to be a lot of bros. A little bro dose. I think it'll be good having a bro date. Just, just a couple of guys. What was the joke last night that they, uh, we were watching a movie or a TV show. The dad jokes, guys, in yesterday's video. Were great. I was looking at them and I was laughing my ass off. You guys killed it. So now I have to go through the hard thing and find a funny one and send you guys a Polaroid. What's the difference between a rich man on a bicycle in a tuxedo and a homeless man on a tricycle? What's the difference? A tire. I love that one. I can't, what were we watching? It was so good. I think it was Dwight on. Oh, it was the awful, off, it was the office. It was, um, it was good, the Goodbye Michael office episode. Do you guys remember? I don't know if you guys ever saw that episode. Well, you can talk. I'm just talking like crazy right now. You know that episode where Steve Carell leaves the office? It's not a, it's not a shocker, spoiler guys. He leaves the office later in the season, uh, like in season seven or something like that. And he gives Oscar this toy he made. <laughs> and he just laughs because he knows how crappy it is. I couldn't stop laughing. It was the funniest moment on the office. I wonder if that was planned or if that was just him like... Just, like let's see if I can find it. I gotta find it. Thank you, Michael. It's beautiful. It looks like... It looks like it was made by a two-year-old monkey <laughs> on a farm. <laughs> I've seen this multiple... I'm crying laughing right now. Little, little, I'm crying laughing. I've seen it so many times. It still makes me Are you that type of person that whenever someone is like laughing uncontrollably? I can't even, stop laughing. I, I like see them and I'll start laughing. And, even I, even and then I find so much more humor when they try and explain to you what, what they're what? laughing yeah. about. Because they can't get it out because they're thinking about it and they're still laughing so yeah. hard. I find it so funny. If I just spoiled that episode, I'm sorry. It's been 10 or 11 years now, guys. I apologize. Just go watch it. That's cool. Do you want to see this? I think we could put this bad boy. That away. one's pretty sweet. This one away to you. I don't it's know. very that alley. Hold on, that's still. so different. Mm -hmm. like that's that. very, very unique. Because they're going to look a lot better once your size and fit to your hands. Yeah, exactly. It just reminds me of the ring that I have at home that I really like. That one's cool. So rather than just doing a standard, standard ring, we decided maybe it might be kind of cool to create one. So that's three rings into one giant ring. That's actually really cool, honey. I think that's my favorite one. Because then you would just solder these three, right? Feel like a princess. Look at this asshole. Hi. Oh, look at this <laughs> asshole. 
<laughs> I'm just kidding, they're not assholes. Well, maybe it's a little bit. It's a little bit. Sophie is out here with the Somerset. Zach came out to hang out too. This is Bryce. I'm Bryce. And uh, we're just hanging out on the bus and just enjoying their artwork. Because if you remember our bus, it's complete crap. Look at this granite. Look at this. There, you, know, uh, you gotta go to the bathroom. Oh, bathroom. There's another one? Yeah. Everyone good? <laughs> just getting ready over here? Get ready. Can you, uh, can you just oh, this, I'm using my bathroom right in the back. Oh! There's the beauty the queen. Beautiful there it is right there. She's a babe, huh? It's a three babe on here. <laughs> uh, uh, that's why they hire you. <laughs> Constant, like, praise. <laughs> I like it. It's funny. I think I say this a lot. It's always fun being on tour, but it's always fun being home. Because when you're on tour, you just want to be home with your family. But when you're with home with your family, you kind of miss being on tour. Like being on the bus for just like the 15 minutes that we were all just hanging out totally made me miss and look forward to the tour that's coming out. By the way, there is, I think Trav, I, I don't know if he leaked it. He cleverly tweeted it that we had the We The Kings 10 year anniversary tour coming up in February of this 2017. It'll be 10 years of We The Kings. What's crazy is I think I've been in We The Kings for four or five of those years. It's crazy how much just that amount of time is kind of blown by and how how awesome it has been. But yeah, the 10 year tour is coming up soon. Somerset is about to play. So it's just kind of cool to be back in the atmosphere just a little bit. Allie couldn't come because her sister Amanda is in. She's very rarely here. So her sister is actually in town, so her, Caitlin, and her mom are kind of all hanging out right now. It's kind of cool being back down here. I remember playing shows back here when I was first starting in my old band, Suspense Thriller. It is kind of cool to be at a place that I once played, you know, getting to see how things have changed, you know, just like progressing. It's like dream coming true kind of thing. Like this place, the Orpheum, the Ritz, the State Theater, Janus Landings, all these places that we play with We The Kings are literally things I've always wanted to play as a kid. And now I get to do that and it's just so beautiful. It's like super peaceful right now that it's not the weekend. I think that is my guy. I just, that's my car. Do you want to edit the video? Here she goes. Did you want to edit? What's going on?